emergencies happen very rarely and when they do it is vital that we are prepared to deal with these and know what to do. We are a nation of animal lovers. We look after our pets like any other member of our family. However, one issue that is sometimes overlooked is that of looking after our animals in an emergency. In this short video, we are going to go through the basic needs of pets and give you some tips on how to look after our animals if an emergency does happen. Now, we met with some friends earlier today and they went through what they would do to be prepared. Let's go and have a look and see what they would do. It's really important that we don't only prepare for ourselves but also our animals. So when it does come to an emergency, we all know what to do. Oh. <laughs> ah, this is Pugsy's emergency grab bag. Well done, Pugs. Now you should have a bag not only for yourself but also your pets. Pugsy's items include food, bowl, lead, blanket, health records and microchip numbers. What is it, Mason? And don't forget your favourite toy. Maisie's favourite toy is a tennis ball, as you can see. You should also have information on your animal. You should have your pet microchipped. This means when found you can get your pet back. Both Pudsey and Maisie are microchipped and wear a collar with a tag on. Have details of your vet, vaccinations and medical records. If your pet needs to go to a kennel or you're not at home, they will need all this information. You should always carry a picture of your animal with you. This is so you can give an accurate description of them. If you are at home and you're being evacuated and you can easily take your animal, make sure you take them in a suitable carrier or, in my case, a lead. If you're at home and you're told to evacuate, possibly by one of my colleagues, and it's not safe to collect your animals, leave your home and do not put yourself at risk. Go to the local reception, authority reception centre as directed and report that your pet has been left at home to those in charge. Jim or one of his RSPCA colleagues will possibly be there to help. If you aren't at home at the time of the emergency and can't get back as soon as possible, make sure you report to the local authority reception as directed. They will make sure that all your pet's needs are met. Now it's all well having a nice cute furry animal as a pet. A lot of people these days have exotic creatures. Now Jim Lucas met with Joe from Booktopia here at Green Trunks Garden Centre to talk about how you should look after exotics. I'm now joined by Joe, who keeps all sorts of exotic animals, including iguanas, like Bob here. Exotic pets can cause many difficulties in the reception centres for emergency services and for the animal organisations. If you own an exotic pet, don't bring it to the reception centre. We encourage people to operate a buddy system so that if you have to evacuate from your home, take your animal to somebody who can look after it until you can return home or alternative arrangements can be made. Joe, with exotic animals, uh, can they be microchipped? Yeah, quite easily. Most animals can be microchipped. Um, it definitely helps to work out which species it is as well if they're lost. Excellent. So obviously that's going to help reunite, uh, would help reunite Bob with you if he became separated or if he was in somebody else's collection, obviously it identifies him as being yours. Definitely, definitely. Uh, what else would an exotic animal keeper need to take with them if they have to evacuate with their animal? Well, with exotics it's very dependent on the species. For instance, Bob would need heat to go with him, so some kind of heat source um, and also some kind of carry case because he's quite large. Then you've got other exotics that, like I said, can be dangerous um, or cumbersome in a way. So you need to have something that you can carry them in and, like you said, a buddy that you can take them to, to to look after that knows what they're doing as well. Thank you. If you have to uh, evacuate and leave your animal at home, please make sure that you contact the reception centre uh, so that they can make arrangements for your exotic pet um, during the emergency. If during an emergency you come across a lost, injured or dead animal within the evacuation area, report it through to the reception centre staff. 
They will ensure that the animal is dealt with properly. Do not approach the animal yourself. It's important that you know what to do for your pets in an emergency. Please, if you've got friends and family, share this video so that they too know what to do for their animals in an emergency. Oh, I just do that. <laughs> <laughs>